fiber is a fantastic medium. It's going to last for generations. It's an extremely efficient way to transport bits at the lowest possible power, but you can also keep increasing the speeds. You can add more wavelengths, you can increase the speed per wavelength. And that's exactly what we're showing here today at the show in Nashville. Uh, what we're showing here is that operators can go from GPON to 10 gigabit POM. That's just, this is already happening today. 25 gig is already available. To, is already available today. We're showing that at the show here. 50 gig has passed standardization and is going to be available in just a few years. But also here at the show, we're showing for the very first time a proof of concept of a 100 gig POM. So this shows that on the same fiber to the home network, on the same POM network that you're deploying today, you can actually move from GPON to XGS POM to 25 gig to 50 gig to 100 gig. And the real beauty of that is that that network that you're installing today, it's not going to be a wasted investment. There's going to be no regrettable spend. You're going to be able to use it for decades. In order to make 100 gig work, we actually had to do a number of significant advances in technology. So first of all, we had to make the technology run faster. Uh, that's, that's a, that sounds simple, but it's actually not that easy. Uh, we had to focus a lot on digital signals processing uh, because as you improve the speed, the technology becomes more and more susceptible to imperfections in the fiber, to possible disturbances. So we had to really focus on digital signals processing to extract that very high speed signal from the fiber. So that has been a major invest, that has been a major area of uh, research and innovation over the past couple of years. The other thing we're doing is introducing a new concept. Uh, we call it a flexible pond. It means that with a 100 gig technology, we can actually adjust that technology based on the quality of the channel, based on the quality of the fiber, if you wish. So if you have subscribers that are further away or that actually get a worse signal, we can actually adjust the bit rate from 100 gig to 75 gig or to 50 gig so that those subscribers still stay connected. So normally you get 100 gig, but if there's an imperfection on the fiber, we can drop back to maybe 75 gigabit per second and make sure that you still get a service. What that means in practice is that we can, we can shift the modulation. So we typically you use non-return to zero, N or Z, but in this 100 gig pond, we actually show that we can switch to PAM3 or PAM4 modulation in order to get the best out of, or the best possible bit rate out of the fiber. One of the challenges that operators are faced with, of course, is okay, there's lots of funding available uh, in order to invest in this critical inf infrastructure, but you also need to commit and meet certain timelines. Uh, so one of the things that we're doing besides innovating technology, we're also making sure that operators can, can get the equipment they need in order to deploy. So that's why we're setting aside a significant number of kits that contain enough gear and software and licenses to cover 100 homes. And those, so that basically means if you want to start deploying tomorrow, you can.